Today, I have for you an all new episode of Shampoo Search. And today, our search takes us back to one of my personal favorite brands, Jack Henry. And this actually is my first time using their shampoo. So I'm really excited to give this a deep dive and give you guys my thoughts on it. This is Shampoo Search. All right, once again, today we are looking at the shampoo from Jack Henry. And since they don't currently offer a conditioner, this will be the only subject of our search today. And they actually describe this cleanser as being formulated with a range of botanicals and vitamins that removes buildup and residue while balancing your microbium. By the way, did you know you had a microbium? I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've never even seen that word before. And I've watched like 50 episodes of Jeopardy. I guess it's good to know that I, in fact, have one, and it's being balanced for me with, with this stuff here, because, you know, I don't know about you, but having an unbalanced microbium just sounds bad. Just just really sounds bad. Beyond all the microbium gymnastics, though, this stuff does contain some really great ingredients, such as provitamin B5, biotin, and honey. It's also free of all those scary ingredients like parabens, sulfates, phthalates, 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 fata I can't say that word. I, I can't even tell you what it is either, but a word like that can't be good anyway. So, you know, that's all good with me that it's not in there. It's also free of things like dyes, aluminum, mineral oil, gluten, GMOs, silicone, rhinoceros tusks, synthetic fragrances, artificial anything, and and it's cruelty free which i was really concerned about you know i was i was super concerned about that so that's really good i mean there's nothing more that i hate than cruelty filled cleansers so that was really good to see. This cleanser does have a bit of a hefty price tag. It comes in at about $34 for 10 ounces. And you know, I can believe it. I can believe that because some of the ingredients that are in there are pretty pricey and I'm fairly certain it costs a lot to be free of all those other things. You know, it probably costs a crap ton more to be free of all those other things than it does to have the things that are in there, even though some of the things that are in there are pretty pricey. So hopefully you guys are following that. I'm just gonna keep moving on because I'm pretty sure I just lost myself in that sentence. But you know, as usual, everything comes down to the all important question, how does it perform? Does it work? Does it not work? Let's take a look at that now. As usual, we're starting with hair that is in need of washing because there's no sense in trying to clean clean hair. And I'm going to use this cleanser and nothing else to give you a full look. And as I begin using it, I'll first tell you nothing's really standing out to me as problematic. It's all seeming to be very normal. I mean, it's probably good that it's cruelty free being, you know, so close to my face and all, you know, but that's that's probably a really good thing. Nothing out of the ordinary, though, is popping out. And remember, in cases like this, that's a really good thing. We want our cleansers to perform as they should. Get in there, break up the garbage, maybe make you stop and admire an amazing fragrance from time to time. I mean, good lord, this stuff smells good. But then, of course, you, you know, rinse it out and take all that stuff away, thus revealing the good stuff, the end result on dry hair. That's exactly what we want a shampoo to do. So deviating from that can throw up some red flags. Luckily, there was none here. This performed exactly how it should, in my opinion, which the end result of that is right here on your screen. Now, what I see with this is hair that's fully cleansed and it's got a ton of body to it, which I really like. I feel like it's very plumped up. I also think it feels pretty soft. It's pretty soft. It's slightly conditioned, which is always great to see at this stage in the game. And maybe that's why there's no conditioner in the lineup because they know this does provide a good helping of nourishment. You know, I don't, I don't really know for sure, but it's true that this definitely does. It does provide a good helping of nourishment, which is always nice to see. But now I do have to give you guys a full opinion on this now that we have brought everything together and used it, looked at it, given it a close look. So what do I think? What do I think? I think that this should definitely be on your radar. I do have two small pieces of criticism. Don't worry, I'm not gonna, gonna forget that. You know, I know you guys need me to criticize things. It's coming, it's definitely coming. But I need to give this cleanser 
its due credit. I mean, for not having a full on Harry Potter book full of ingredients in it, I think it actually works exceptionally well. I mean, it's got great cleansing ability. It's got a fantastic scent to it. Once again, I love the scent. Can't even tell you what it is. I have no idea what it is, but I know I love it. And that's always a good thing. I do think the end result also was spot on as far as the hair feeling clean, hydrated, full of body, and of course, ready for styling. That's always the, the best result that we can get. I mean, clean, nourished, ready for styling. That's always the best outcome, right? However, comma, I did say that I have a couple pieces of criticism. The first being, I do think that a conditioner added onto this would be good because I do think the hair could be softer. I think they could consider and should consider making a conditioner because I think they're excellent product makers too. And I'd love to see what they do with a conditioner. And I think adding a conditioner to the end result that we got with this could make things even better. The other thing is the price. It is a little pricey. I know you guys, you know, how you guys tend to comment and think towards price when it comes to something like this. And I do think it's a little bit pricey, especially with it being only 10 ounces. But then again, you know, Jack Henry is there. I mean, they're kind of known for being on another level. You know, I can tell you some of the ingredients in here aren't cheap, you know, stuff that's in here. It's not cheap. So, you know, they've always been a premium product with a premium price. So, you know, take that for, for what you will. As always, the final judgment is up to you guys. And if you liked what you saw here, you liked the product, you liked the end result, you can find this cleanser from Jack Henry in the description down below. That though is all I got for this episode of Shampoo Search. Thanks so much for checking this out with me. Make sure you do the big three for me. Like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe being the big one. Make sure you do that. Make sure you also turn on that bell icon, the notifications, because our next episode is going to cover what's in this box. And you're going to want to see what's in this box. I'm telling you, you're going to want to see what's in the box. You're going to have to wait to the next one though. So keep an eye out for that. Y'all take it easy. I'll see you next time.